Hello learners, this is Pradeep Naik here, CEO of Fuel Media Solutions Private Limited. I welcome you all to another exciting session on event management and today we're going to talk about MICE events. In my previous session, we spoke about different types of events. We also spoke about business events and we did cover upon MICE events in brief. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about MICE events in detail and for me to make you understand MICE events in detail, help me share a presentation. So what is MICE events? So MICE is an acronym for meetings, incentives, conferences, or conventions, which is called the another name for conferences and exhibition. The image here gives you a brief idea about what we're going to talk about. So um, though under business type, uh, under business events, we did speak about meetings and conferences or incentive travel, etc. But today we're going to talk about a little more in detail as to what these events are and what do they mean to the industry. So the image that you're looking at is a small glimpse of uh, what we're going to talk about further. My image, the first image that you see is a picture taken from an incentive travel. The second image that you're seeing on the top is about an exhibition that's happening at a particular trade uh, office. And the third one you're seeing is a conference that is happening at a particular location with a set of panelists. So what is MICE? So it is one of the fastest. So meeting, incentives, conference, convention, exhibition is what and events what, what we have discussed. But how is this sector? So this is uh, it's an acronym that is used for the amalgamation of all four types. But off it, what has happened is that they're slowly moving it from calling it into MICE and calling it into meeting industry. Because this is something that people have used when tourism comes into place. So uh, any events, see, uh, meetings and conferences happen in our own country, our own city, our own district, etc. But when we're doing such formats, when we're doing such events in a different country, in a different destination, in a different state altogether, it comes under tourism. So that's the reason how MICE as a word acronym came into picture. And MICE tourism is something that become a common phenomena that everybody started to follow. So MICE tourism has the maximum potential across the globe amongst various forms of tourism. The concept actually started in Europe and America almost like a century, uh, like 100 years back is what they say, with um, changing in trends, the global economy, people started moving from one country to another for businesses. Um, when uh, countries opened up for globalization uh, with a lot of technological advances that happened, they had to share this knowledge. So this is what for its strength and grown to much what we call today is a destination and index of economy. India being an emerging market in the mice industry and experiential marketing with uh, the reason being uh, India is a vast country with um, the kind of population that we have and the kind of uh, cultural offerings that we have from uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, you will come across hundreds of different types of culture. So India plays a very important role and uh, with uh, the globalization that is happening, people are exploring India as uh, the future hub for uh, mice events. So meetings and conferences, let me start uh, touch upon the first aspect of it uh, under MICE. So what is meetings and conferences? So how did it start? So the rising need of brand awareness or global expansion or technology sharing or anything of that matter further uh, kind of snowballed into creating something like meetings, workshops, conferences, etc. And now that further created opportunities into creating uh, meetings are mostly small format. Conferences are big format and always done with a certain uh, agenda or certain topic, right? So that's how meetings and conferences, where they bring people together with a common interest in order to exchange ideas, or it could be a less formal gathering, or it could be of any scale. Meetings are, however, different scale, like 30, 40, 50, or maximum 100, but conferences do not have any scale. But however, they don't go exorbitant, like you can't have a conference for 10,000, 30,000 people. It can happen for a few hundreds, a few thousands only. So in today's world, the major emerging aspect of market segmentation, uh, positioning of brand and uh, you know uh, hotel meetings, facilities, etc., is a different way of marketing. So what they have done is that, I'll just give an example, is how Hilton has done. So Hilton's worldwide branded product is called as marketing, market, uh, meeting simplified. All right, I'm sorry for the correction. So the Hilton's worldwide branded product is called meeting simplified. So Hilton being a um, 
a property uh, brand or it a brand which has so many hotels across the world so and they are the facilitators for a lot of meetings and conferences that happen in their venue so they made it very uh, to promote more of my events in their properties they made it something like meeting simplified the reason being most of the properties are used for these kind of meetings and conferences so uh, that's how this came into play and uh, since the meetings i'll give an example um, if it is a uh, if there is a meeting for example if it's a company called itc you might might all have heard of it so itc wants to talk about a particular um, new segment that it is launching so it might not do it in its head office which might be in kolkata or it could be in bombay so what it will do is it will take a destination and they will do a meeting and a conference there where they will invite all the stakeholders they probably will uh, fly down all the stakeholders to one particular destination it could be goa it could be uh, it could be vancouver it could be spain it could be anywhere Uh, then the meeting would happen there so this would come under mice but if it's happening in their own uh, head office or their own city and everything it might not be called under mice but yes it will come under meetings and conferences so that's a small difference not much of a uh, confusion so that is one now next look let's look upon incentives so what are incentives the name itself is self explanatory incentive so like you do this you get this you do this you get this and all this kind of things which we've been uh, kind of uh, uh been uh, fed uh, since our childhood uh, i'm sure uh, like you finish this task you will get this you finish the, your homework you get this so incentive is something that we all or all have grown up to and we all have uh, been using it in a different uh, strata of life right so that is what it is all about here so the category of in- incentives includes trips and travel training um away days or team building so incentive travel is something that started later but uh, incentive as such started because uh, it's for rewarding and motivating sales representative in companies which is purely into sales uh, would be like i'm sure i'm just talking like giving some names like euroca forbes or max life insurance or icci prudential etc all these insurance companies which is also into sales so just to motivate their uh, employees or the sales team so rewarding and motivating their sales or uh, the dealer so icc cement uh, or ambuja cement or anybody to kind of uh, motivate the dealers to do more business or or gratify the dealers who have done very good business or to the distributors to the production workers to the support staff in some cases customers also some customers is like as a part of for the uh, national challenge that they do you know like 100 lucky winners get to fly to uh, dubai and uh, 200 lucky winners fly to get to usa etc so those are a part of incentive travel so the company rewards sales rep who reaches sales target by sending them on trips and usually the incentive comes with hotel stays tour packages and planned activities such as dinners parties and games so what exactly happens is that for exa- uh, for example if it's for a sales company like let me take an example let me call, talk or take a name for example eureka forbes eureka forbes identifies 100 uh, top performing sales people in their organization as per their uh, target that they have achieved for that financial year and they say this is 100 uh, employees get the opportunity to go to sri lanka for 3 days or two nights and three days and something like that so what happens the event company uh, the event management agency would plan the entire uh, activity you know uh, how the uh, how all this 100 people who might be from different parts of uh, the country come to one single destination from there how would they fly to uh, sri lanka or could be to colombo from there which hotel they will go to where they will stay and that entire three days is like kind of planned or scheduled like what will like once they get up in the morning what they're going to do after breakfast when will they have some kind of briefing they will have field trips or they will get to do sightseeing in the evening what kind of activity they will have or what kind of team building activity they'll be playing or what kind of entertainment that they will be uh, kind of exposed to so everything will be planned and executed by an event management agency so the entire process uh, has a multiple levels of agencies involved which we're going to talk about a little later but yeah pretty much so incentives is what so the market for incentive segment is driven by the rapid growth in the travel and tourism so if you see um, 10 years back if you ask 100 people how many of you have traveled abroad there would be 10 20 people saying yes i have traveled abroad today 2020 you ask like um, the number of people who have traveled abroad you would say see at least 70% of them saying yes i have traveled abroad even if it is a small or even if it's a neighboring country like sri lanka china or uh, could be uh, you know thailand or could be uh, dubai or singapore anything for that matter but yes everybody would have traveled at least one particular country so that's the amount of globalization that we have reached today and uh, more and more countries are uh, kind of uh, advertising and reaching out to uh, different uh, uh, each other's countries to promote tourism so that is a part of our incentive 
when I, next is uh, the exhibition so what is exhibition exhibition is purely display show and sale um, of the same and the core concept of exhibition is presentation of goods and services at one common location this could be purpose uh, the purpose of there could be sale or could be display or could be purely demo or it also could be non commercial whether they just want to display like art crafts or uh, rare ancient arts or something it's like an exhibition uh, we talk about you no know, old antique exhibition things where you can't buy things you just get to see them so in recent times a new term also has come something called confex it's called it's an it's, it's a mix of exhibition and conference so most of the exhibition that have uh, are like for example the business related we talk about like uh, the excon that happens or the bc india that happens in uh, you might you can just google and uh, see what i'm referring to so excon bc india imtex tooltech astech this is a big level format exhibitions that happen in different cities and similarly this kind of uh, exhibitions happen like we talk about the auto expo ha that happens in delhi or we talk about the uh, uh, german auto car show that happens in uh, uh, munich or uh, many such events you know across the world it happens so people travel all the way there to do business there to see new launches there to see new products to know your uh, like update yourself with newer technologies etc and also there will be parallel conferences that will be happening where they talk about individual products so that's why a lot of uh, such formats are called as conference it's just a casual term that has been used of late but yes it is very much into play so exhibitions also play a very very important role in terms of for being a part of my so exhibition that is uh, done to promote a particular location along with uh, positioning in that particular city or a destination comes under my next what is the benefit of my sector so why is it like has been put together and how it is so i told you see meetings and conferences do happen in a city they called meetings and conferences but it happens in destination it comes under my incentives and similar exhibitions so what is the benefit why did this acronym come into place and what are the benefits that they offered so the direct benefit is very simple it directly benefits the entrepreneurs in the tourism sector just an example like for example if there's a global investors meet that happens in bangalore okay so what happens a lot of investors from across the world will come to bangalore they get to see bangalore they see bangalore as an opportunity to invest they see the infrastructure of the city they see the people the weather etc they make uh, a decision there okay similarly if i am invited to a different country it could be spain it could be thing i will definitely look that uh, look at that country from a more um, refined uh, perspective that, uh, than what i've been seeing it on google etc right so that is one direct benefit second it boosts the local economy so uh, one such example that i would want to give here uh, based on the case study that i did uh, was on uh, the ifi award that is done by wiscraft so if you all have noticed very very carefully ifi is something that i used to that's a, a film of fraternity award function that happens every year but the thing that is little different about ifi is that it is hosted in one foreign country every year so it is once in canada then in spain then in uh, so many cities like across the world they just travel it happened in dubai etc so uh, one such incident which i got to like uh, through sabas who's uh, Uh, one of the co-founders of Wiscraft got to hear that is that one particular location when they hosted, I think it's a part of USA, uh, one city, uh, one state where it was hosted. Um, what they promised, it was overbooked. For example, uh, they, there was some ten hotels in that uh, vicinity, ten big hotels. I'm not talking about small hotels, hotels which have capacity of 300, 400 rooms. So hotels, those all the hotels got like booked. Okay, booked six months prior. a lot of celebrities who came to that city got to see the city a lot of people from across the united states traveled to that particular state just to see the film star because uh, if i have something where you will have at least 50 60 uh, films uh, actors like the bachans or, or the akshay kumar rithik roshan etc coming there so this is an opportunity for an shahrukh khan etc coming there the opportunity for everybody to see so there was a huge influx of tourism that happened there in there so all of a sudden the economy of that particular state for that financial year all of a sudden it took a upward turn and it boosted a lot of things for that state and that state came into the limelight so that is how it boosts the local economy now it benefits the chosen city through economic growth and also gives greater touristic prominence to the city exactly was what i was discussing it's like uh, if there is something for example uh, if they if it happens in spain okay i will give another option i'll give another very very good example the very good example is the aero show that happens in bangalore so aero show happens uh, it's a uh, by uh, it's a uh, uh, even it happens once in two years 
All right, so I forgot the term of it, but yeah, once in two years it happens. And when it happens in Bangalore, you see all of a sudden, every set of businesses are involved in it. As simple as that, I'm telling all the hotels in Bangalore, the five-star properties are books, booked, sold out, sorry, booked, sold out six months in advance. So what happened? The revenue across all hotels are good. Okay. All of a sudden in the Bangalore, the tourism, there are like tourism uh, uh, companies who are doing uh, city tours and in and around Bangalore, like Mysore or Sri Patna or Cook and everything, all of a sudden we'll see a lot of influx in the tourists coming to this state. So that is the uh, advantage that it offers, is a greater touristic prominence to the city. So when people from so many different countries, like 130 country people come to Bangalore on during that time, it's an event which has four to five lakh people who visit that event. So that is one. It creates new jobs such as the professional hire to host the event. Yes. When we do these events in uh, towns or cities, which is much smaller in nature, which is much uh, lesser in terms of economy, it kind of uh, indirectly creates economic uh, op opportunities for people to work on it. So if there are sets which would take like, for example, if Olympics that happen or Commonwealth that happens in that particular country. In fact, for if you look at uh, the FIFA that, was, that is supposed to happen in Saudi or Qatar, I guess, uh, in 2021, um, look at the amount of investment. It runs into billions, okay? And the pro planning for that happens for four to five years. So four to five years, it is offered uh, employment to another lack of people and that uh, four to five amount of money that is invested. So that is how that is another, um, you know, it creates when it is hosted uh, the amount of but with mice what happens is that it is constantly done in different cities and everything so the local tourism cre uh, creates like for example um, we do uh, one uh, small uh, entertainment program in sri lanka in the night where uh, we want to showcase the local cultural uh, culture of uh, sri lanka uh, or the artistic culture of sri lanka Normally, they would perform once or twice in a year during big functions that happen in their city. But now, since we have tourists coming every once in 15 days, they will have to do the shows again and again. So it creates an economic opportunity for those artists to earn from those shows that they cannot do. This is another. It benefits professionals such as taxi drivers, hoteliers, small business owners, and boosts cultural tourism. Traveling, visiting the city, go to places such as galleries, museums, shows. So it's indirectly beneficial to everybody who is involved or directly or indirectly connected to tourism. Right? So when we uh, allow all the employees, the people who have taken the for like 100, 200 people and a day that you be on your own, you can roam around, you can do shopping, etc. Automatically, people do tend to spend there, right? So this is a few benefits that I have listed, which creates uh, under the my sector. I also spoke about different agencies who are involved in the process of MICE, right? So generally, MICE travel involves a lot of preparation work. They need to provide a full range of travel and conference services for large or small group. It could be 30 people or it could be 3,000 people. And prepare events of shorter and longer durations to meet the different demands of the MICE host. So some event, as I told you, could be for two days, some could be for seven, some could be for 10, and some can be 30 people, can, some can be 3,000 people also. So the major play, uh, players in the MICE, the major, uh, no, uh, the, uh, I would say people who are involved in MICE field include, one is corporate meeting planners, that is event management agencies, meeting and convention departments of the hotels because these hotels have such uh, uh, big um, um, conventions that uh, they have dedicated events team or the convention managers who in uh, coordinate with the event managers uh, to facilitate or to smoothen the entire function because people are coming to a different country, they should feel comfortable, there should not be any kind of uh, confusions in terms of bookings, etc., any kind of visa, everything. So they help them a lot. Second is the conference centers of the cruise ship. So uh, this is something that I missed, which I'll talk about just after this point. Okay, food and beverage managers, logistics firm, private tour operators, transfer companies, incentive houses, professional trade organization, tourism boards, tourism trade associations, and travel and selling professionals. So many people are involved, okay? So I will just talk about one person. Like uh, off late uh, in terms of my uh, cruise ship has taken a uh, very good lead, I would say. A lot of companies are hosting the incentive tour program on cruise ship. Like it's a three day cruise from Singapore to Austria or anywhere for that matter. And then you have the entire three days planned there. What, so you know, a cruise ship, uh, a lot of people would have seen Titanic, some, something of that. It's a huge ship. There's like, multi, there, there are malls inside that. There is amusement park inside there. There's multi-level banquets is there. And all kinds of entertainment is there. So the entire three, four days of the journey in the C is planned and their entertainment activity is planned. So that's something which is leading there. And tourism board. So what happens is countries like Singapore, countries like Turkey, etc. They come to India, they come to uh, meet event managers, tell them what their country has to offer, 
you get 100 people there in terms of, you know, as a part of the uh, incentive program or part of the meetings and etc. Then what will the government or the tourism board of that government support, etc. So a lot of people are involved in this. And also, uh, you know, uh, the tourism boards or the governments, uh, which I talk about the uh, trade organization, professional trade organization, they, they felicitate the easy movement of your visa and, uh, you know, documentation, passport, etc., country to country movement, and also give us uh, some emergency support in terms of any emergency that happens at that location. So a lot of people are involved in the entire process of um, executing a MICE event. As I told you, it could be meeting, conference, incentive travel, or exhibition, right? So um, before uh, ending this, uh, let me quickly run up on uh, the top five international mice destination. As per the report of uh, Global Trends last year, 2019, we haven't seen the report for 2020, but yeah, this is something that I have access to. With so Beijing, uh, Berlin, um, I'm sure you all know Brussels, Buenos Aires, um, Copenhagen, Istanbul, Paris. Um, then we have London, Seoul, Singapore, Sydney, Tokyo, Vancouver, and Vienna. Sorry for that repetition. There is like Paris repeated twice. So these are the destinations. Now, why these destinations? Uh, just because I like it, no, nothing like that. So these destinations have um, created their country, their uh, governments have created opportunities or uh, have created infrastructure in that way that it becomes an easy access and a very good host city in terms of you know having good convention halls, uh, good permission facilities to do events outdoor, or if you want to do something creative, then your museums, everything, getting access to it, uh, kind of people who are friendly and uh, less, uh, I would say, not crime as such, but easy access to the city, it's safe to travel, etc. So these are the things which this city uh, kind of meets in terms of parameters, uh, ease of doing business, ease of traveling, and uh, good connectivity from all the different parts of the world. So all the things would matter before finalizing this 15. Out of 300, 400 destinations that we have across the world, yes, India is another top destination, but I have not mentioned because I'm talking about a global trend uh, list that we're talking about. All right. So with this, I come to an end of uh, what we started discussing about uh, MICE events. But before I end this, I would want to show uh, a beautiful video that kind of encapsulates the entire uh, conversation that we had today uh, and gives you a heads up on what we are actually talking about. This video is from a hotel called Valma that is in uh, uh, Europe. They have many hotels in Europe. This is one of their videos that they have posted on YouTube, which talks about uh, their De Bruyne uh, property and the number of hotels that they have in that area and how they are uh, meeting an incentive friendly hotel. So this video is from that hotel. Uh, you would see the name of the hotel so that you can further uh, Google and find out. But uh, this is a small heads up from me before uh, we do this one second. Doesn't this look exciting? Huh? All right. Yes, I'm sure this looks exciting. Um, so we were talking about MICE, meetings, incentives, conferences, conventions, and exhibition. The best incentive 
one of the best, sorry, <laughs> the, one of the best incentives uh, of being in the event industry is that when you host such events, you get to travel to such beautiful destination. You also experience, yes, you will be busy with a lot of work, but yes, uh, you will be able to find some little amount of time to enjoy such beautiful destinations. Um, that is the uh, upside of being in the event industry. Uh, this video that you saw is from that uh, hotel called Valama and uh, courtesy YouTube from where we got this video. Um, and I'm sure uh, this is one just a glimpse uh, like uh, how uh, Dubrovnik as a venue or as a city hosted this and has uh, uh, no, it has conferencing facilities, it has places to see around as a city, it has uh, for leisure, sightseeing, etc. So everything, it's a wholesome experience for anybody who would want to conduct some uh, MICE events there. So with this, we come to the end of this, uh, I'm sure, exciting session. Um, and uh, do look upon um, Google and YouTube for more uh, such references. You'll get more clarity on the kind of MICE events that happen across the world. Uh, I'm sure you guys will be great in what you do. Wishing you all the best. Have a great day. Thank you. And uh, you can all um, reach me on the, the email ID that I've shared in my last slide. Uh, that's Pradeep at fuelindia.co.in. Thank you. Have a great day and all the best for the future event managers.